Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is General Chemistry Questions and Answers. All right, so at its core, general chemistry is really about reactions and different properties of those reactions. So let's take a look at this reaction, and this is methane and oxygen reacting to form carbon dioxide and water. So one of the first things we're going to learn in chemistry is how to balance equations. So the first thing we do is look at something that's unique, and that's usually going to be anything that's not hydrogen and oxygen, which are kind of in most reactions. So let's start with carbon and see if it's balanced. Well, right now we have one carbon on the left side and one carbon on the right side, so that's balanced. Let's move on to hydrogen. Well, we have four on the left side, and over here we have two on the right side, so that's not balanced. So let's add a coefficient of two to this water. Now finally, we have O2 here, so two on the left side, and we have one, two, three, four on the right side. So this is not balanced. So now we have to add a two to oxygen. So this is how we balance equations. Uh, other general chemistry questions we might have are, uh, what type of reaction is this? And this reaction takes methane and reacts it with oxygen air, and it forms carbon dioxide and water. And anything that takes air and decomposes something to make water is called a combustion reaction. It's very similar to the reaction that's inside cars or engines. Um, so gasoline is a carbon chain and we react it with air, uh, combustion type. So the last thing we might be curious about in our general chemistry kind of wondering session is what shape are all these molecules? Well, carbon, central atom, has four substituents and it actually ends up being tetrahedral. We know this because it is, has four even substituents and they all spread out evenly. Um, O2 is going to be bonded like this, and this is actually going to be linear. If it only has two things, it has to be linear. Uh, CO2 bonds like this, and this is actually completely linear also. And finally, we have water, which has two hydrogens and it has two lone pairs, which each kind of act to form their own shape. And so this is actually going to be called bent. Because the effect is that if we're not considering lone pairs, it looks like these H's are bent. So these are just kind of three different types of things we can think about with reactions. Uh, how to balance, what type of reaction, and what shape are all of our molecules. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been General Chemistry Questions and Answers. Mm -hmm.